Hey guys, welcome to another video. This time we're having RTA, but this will be a very special video because, you know, I was going to do a live comment on my fight. However, I decided to remove the comment and try to explain the reasons why I lost a ton of these matches. Because, you know, this will be a very, very bad RTA day for me, but I can make something useful out of it explaining how I lost and letting you know how to play against comps like mine. Now here, for instance, the guy goes for Water Rayo like everyone else. And this is a very standard start of the draft here. So I decided to go with my with my Tableau and Lucian after the usual Okeanos and Bastard picks. However, here the guy has a checkmate because having two more picks, he goes for a higher speed leader and a unit that I can never outspeed. I can never outspeed a decently ruined Light Werewolf, so a Shear. So yeah, if you're facing someone like mine, like me, sorry, I went for the speed leader, but even though I went for the speed leader, I don't have any chances. Once he bans my Vanessa, I have a 24% speed leader and he has a 33% speed leader. So even though my runes are great, he is a G1 player. So his runes are very, very good too. So if I were to outspeed him, it will be only because he didn't give his good runes to Waterayu or maybe the Master. But it was not the case, so I will lose this one. Now, if you're in the same case, in the same scenario, Waterayu is a very, very strong pick. Is a very very strong first pick because he provides speed leader, and that's why I would love to have Water Rayo because I think I could apply that same strat to my cliff, so that I can have that speed leader and then decide if I want to add another speed leader. And that's why I would like to pull some math so much because that's a, a unit that can deal damage and provides the 33 speed leader. Of course, I would love Trinity as well, so that I could have an AOE damage. That's great, and a 33 speed leader as well. So here he goes for Okeanos, and I decide to go for the Bastet and the Ken. And he goes for the standard draft, and here I am exposed to the same result. There's nothing I can do about it. So I go for Tableau and Lucian, but if he goes a Sheer and a 33 speed leader, then it will be an unfair room fight because he will always have a faster leader. So that's the way you counter me. Now, this guy decided to go for some math and not go for a super fast attack bar booster. So I can go for Jamire, ban the Samath and have a fair speed fight. This will be a very fair speed fight. And of course, if he's not on Nemesis runes, I have very high chances of winning this one. But you see how I can lose and I can definitely lose if I go for this kind of draft. So I have to modify my comp in order not to fall for this. Because everyone, everyone on high C3 and, and low G1 and G1, G2 has a very fast booster or a very fast Trident, for instance, to be ready in case they fight someone like me. So in a couple of fights, I will show you a fight against a very high G1 player that I decided to turn my draft to make a change last minute because I know that I will be outsped if I go for the outspeeding route. So yeah, this one guys, this one we should win. Now here we go again, we start with Okeanos and the opponent starts with a speed meta draft, the usual. Guys, you see how... So people are playing nowadays on high level RTA, they are playing either the Molly, Ragdoll, Leo comps or the super fast I strip you, I control you comps. And yeah, they have 
There are a ton of counters for those counts. Now he took my tablet. That's really, really bad for me because he left me in a very, very tough spot. I was not expecting him to take my tablet. Why will he take tablet? So yeah, that destroyed my strat. So I go for Shimite for his speed leader, but I am depending on another booster. So I had to go for Kabila, which is a booster that even if he bans my speed lead, I have a chance to use Kabila to outspeed him, even though he has a speed leader, because he's a mandatory speed lead. So I will ban the, the unit with the highest base speed so I can take turn one. However, even though I take turn one, I have two water, two wind units. So I, I had to pick the, the Shimite because he was the only the only speed leader that I had that could provide me some AoE damage. But he was full of fire. So I, I highly need another unit that's a different element that can provide me a speed leader. For instance, a Samath, as I told you before. So he, here I, I actually won the speed fight. I won it by a fair amount. So yeah, I know those units will be tanky. And what can I do here? I go for the AoE trying to crit and maybe dismount the Beast Rider and yeah I depend on my Okanos to hit the Beast Rider a few times but I happened to hit her three times I think so it was not enough the damage from my damage Okanos was not enough so I will completely lose this one and this is another way in which you can destroy me if you take one of my main units because I'm not ready to face a tableau that far into the draft you know, because I was drafting in order to get the Tableau and Jamaira's last picks. So I can't change my game plan against so many fire units. It's very hard for me to do that. So here we go again. And against the C2 now, because we were pushed out of C3. And he's taking his time. Yeah, you, like myself, are wondering why he's taking so long. So I decide to change here. Actually, not to change right now. I went for the, the Bastet and Lucian, but I see a very slow team. So this is not, maybe, this is not a tableau, a tableau, a tableau match. I, I may have to go for Kali and Odin. And when he does that, I know I have to go for Kali and Odin. Because you know, Abilio is a very crazy counter for Tableau. So think about it, guys. If I were to use Tableau and I were to reduce the, the HP of one of those units during my first run below 40%, then I will have proc the Abilio passive, he will boost the full team, and he may cut me and destroy me. So yeah, I can't face that. However, with this comp, I am mostly ready to face him. So I go for that. The buff on Kali. Now I want to reset the Abilio. So that I won't get cut and get nasty things out of them. And I'm expecting to kill something with my Lucian. I was lucky enough to kill something. And now he goes for the strip. So when my Odin goes, I can kill that blue girl, even though she procced. But I will kill that girl, and I'm 4 on 1 versus the Juno. So, yeah. No Kali destroys Juno, and we're done. Nice win. Nice win. It's very nice to be able to change. So, you have to get some one shot units ready in order to modify your draft. And this is the, the fight that I told you before. This guy goes for the meta, okay? I'm not afraid of that, of those first picks. However, I know that he can turn things around easily from there on. From there on. So 
Now I go, I will go for the usual, the Vastet and the Lucian. And I may have had to change that beforehand. The smart thing to do here will have been modifying my draft from the go. But now he takes a 33 speed leader and a trident. As you, as you know, guys, I told you before, G1 players have those answers. They have units. So now what can I do? I can never win a speed fight. So if I go for my standard draft, I already lost. So what can I do? Well, I can go with a, with a Laika here and ban the, the Water Ryu and of course a Juno. So that if he lands detrimental effects, my Juno will heal. And of course, she can't control a Juno and my Juno is built on damage. However, he has that LD at 5, that is not the best pick into a Juno, of course because Juno is kind of a counter against that. But you will, he, you will see how this fight goes. My, my, the full fight for me will be trying to destroy that, that Vanessa first. Because if I were to kill any other unit, then his, his Gany will keep resetting the Vanessa. And Vanessa will keep reviving units. So if I don't get rid of Vanessa, I can't win. However, even though this will be a very bad position for me, a very bad draft for me, because my units are not tanky. If I was, if I had a tanky, tanky Okeanos that deals damage based on the artifacts only, then maybe my Okeanos could have survived a few hits and maybe do something. But you know, my units are built to deal damage the old fashioned way. So I will be losing my two damage dealers. <laughs> One attack from, from that Vanessa, which was very fortunate. And yeah, what can you do? Sometimes even RNG is not on your side. So here I'm left with only one chance, which is for my Juno to finally kill that Vanessa. But that Vanessa is tanky on very high damage. And of course, he will start using skills that don't apply detrimental effects on my Juno and trying to kill my Juno. So if I was lucky enough for him to kill my Vastet faster, then I will still have a chance because that full team with that girl, that girl will, will give my Juno chances of healing. However, getting defense broken and getting the opponent to attack will be very bad as well. Of course, my Juno is on despair, revenge. So she can do things if she gets to, to, to proc revenges and to stun. So yeah, this will be a very, very, very annoying, nasty fight. And yeah, spoiler alert, I will lose this one, guys. So you can fast forward this. And actually, I will do it for you. So here we are, one more fight. C3 this time. And he starts with Vanessa. <laughs> and, and he goes RNG from the first two picks. So what can I do? I modified my draft, I went for, for water so that I can counter his fire. He goes for two wins so he can counter my two waters. And I go for a very fast choice, which is Kali and Odin, of course, so I can one-shot something. And he goes for Perna. That's a nice pick. So I can ban the Antares so that I don't get procced to death. And he most likely will ban Kali. That was a smart choice. So I will get turn one if things go well with my Beast Rider. However, I don't know if I can push hard enough for my team to move before his pony move, moves. So that's one thing to consider as well. 
So for this to work, I will need to push the attack bars of my full team fast. And I went for the Vanessa, and the Vanessa was very tanky, so I should have gone for the Perna here. So that, that way I could have pushed further the attack bars of my team, so my team could move before his pony. Now this guy didn't do a very smart thing here. He remains in, po in, in human form. That's like suicidal. And even though he messed up, you know, sometimes RTA compensates for you, even though you messed up. There goes the proc. So now down goes my Odin. Without the Vanessa proc, my Odin could have survived, maybe. So yeah, that was really, really unfortunate. And now I'm, I have to decide what, what I want to reset. I wanted to reset the Vanessa so that I could kill the, the pony. And well, I had to go for Vanessa instead because I couldn't reset her. So now the pony procs, transforms, and does pony things. Sometimes, guys, you can't win because the game says you will not win. That's as simple as that. Now I try to defense break the pony, but I can't. So I can't even break that shield. And well, what can I do? I already lost. I already lost. So the other way to beat me and beat anybody is with good RNG. So yeah, you know how it works. And here we go against this guy. This guy is on my favorite list because he used to play Cliffs and I think he plays a Cliff nowadays as well. And you know, he's a very, very strong player and I know he will outspeed me. And the, the first two picks are annoying, but yeah, I by picking this, I, I actually was really wrong picking this. Because I already told him, okay, dude, you can outspeed me with your last three picks. You can win this by picking one, one other speed leader with 33% and two units that are fast, he won. So there's not much I go to. I could have, I could have picked Leo myself. I could have gone for the Leo and the Laika here. I could have done that, Leo Laika, for instance, and, you know, make things a little more interesting. However, you know, I wanted to go for the speed fight and decide is quick enough. And yeah, he's much, much faster than me. Not because of his runes, maybe. Maybe his runes are on the same tier or a little bit above mine, but not too much above mine. But because of the units, the base speed of Ethna is 119, if I remember correctly, and the base speed of, of Sheer is 115. So with lesser runes and the same speed leader. And of course, that Ethna was super high damage as well. She one-shotted my Lucian. She didn't have to stun my Lucian. So, here we go again, and we're hoping to recover the, the seed free rank and the points that we lost because this has been a very awful session so far. I lost most of my matches and I was very dis disappointed by this time, but I decided to keep going because I want to show this to you as well. Because, you know, some people only show you the fights they win and, you know, if I tell you how I lose, you can learn a lot from my losses and especially if I explain you how to kill me. That way we all learn. And of course I learned that I need to modify the way I draft, of course. I need to change my teams if I want to move on to the G1 ranks. Because, you know, I think my runes are G1 level at least. And my units are G1 level too, I think, now that I have Savannah as well. So I need to get on a G1 level mind. You know, and for that, the only way to do it is, the only way to do it is playing, playing a lot and learning how to win and how to, um, how to counter things and, you know, accepting losses. Losing a lot is a way to learn as well. So for this one, 
I went, I knew he was he was low, so I went for this low cliff comp, and yeah, he says she, he's he's <laughs> he's autoing me, guys. He's autoing me. So that's a bot. A bot got to C2 level. That's crazy. Bots are smarter and smarter every day. So he's autoing me. I can't believe it. However, I have to be thankful that he's out on me, so I can win this. Not with super ease. Oh yes, it was super easy. Well, who am I kidding? So yeah, I got a free win and that's nice. That's always nice. And I want one more match after this because I want to recover the points. And even though if I win this one, even though I will have lost one more match than I won, I will have still gained points because you know I, I my losses were against two guardians which don't discount a ton of points from me and against high level players so yeah that way my wins count and four wins against five losses net me about six more points than usual and now this guy starts with a molo what can I do against that draft I go busted Lucian that's it you know what I'm going to do. I'm going to try to clip you. He goes for a fire panda, a fire panda. And by this point, I, I, I still think that he's maybe a bot as well. And he goes Antares. I hate Antares. That's a unit that has to be removed from the game, in my opinion. So much RNG, so much cancer. And of course, when you use it, it seems like he doesn't do anything. And when the opponent uses it, it seems like he brought turn one all the time. So, Having Antares there, I, I don't think I can rely on Tableau and Jamire because if he was to pick a Leo after Antares, then I have to deal with one of them, of them with Leo or with, with Antares. And both of them are hard counters for Tableau comps. And there goes a Leo. And there is a Artemio. Okay, so what can I do here? Of course, you know, guys. I'm going to unleo, so I need immunity, or I need him to ban my immunity. So I will ban Leo, and if my Draco stays there, I will have immunity so that Antares can't stun me, which is the most annoying thing from Antares, the stun. So now he decided to ban my Bastet, which I don't know if it was the right choice, I will have banned Draco, or at least ban Lucian, which is the one that can kill his full team. And yeah, now we will rely on pushing with, with Rego. We have immunity, so we don't care if Antares takes one turn. And look at that. He did not. Now I buff attack. I'm invincible. And boom. I should kill something here. And I did not. He was tanky enough. But Antares did nothing. Antares worked perfectly well here. And there you go erased. Antares did nothing. So yeah guys, that's it. Well, I will show you the runes, of course, as I always do. And well, guys, please. Oh, there you see guys, I started with 15, 15, 55, if I remember correctly. I lost five matches, I won four matches and ended up gaining six points. So even though I lost more than I won, I still got higher in points. So yeah, these are the rooms. And guys, if you enjoyed this, please leave a comment, leave a, leave a thumbs up, subscribe if you like, and let me know in the comment section if you have any questions about this or about anything in the game. So guys, I will see you all in the next one. Bye bye.